The plan was called Operation D-Minus. One of the schools included in the plan was Park Vista Community High School, where a kid named Justin LeBoy, that's me, an 18-year-old honor roll student, I guess straight A's, man, was in the last semester of his senior year. Justin could hardly believe his luck when a very pretty girl showed up. Naomi. In not one, but two of his classes. Naomi. She sat in front of him. He switched seats. Naomi. The last name she used was Rodriguez. Justin, what drew you to Naomi initially? Man, she used to fall asleep in class. She was a nice kid, Puerto Rican, Dominican, long hair, mature in the body like whoa, like whoa. That's not the only reason I liked her though. She said she moved with her mother to Florida from New, New York, York, where dreams are made. Well, so did I. So I said I. She seemed mature, and I talk more. And I was like, What the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? What the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? Who do I have to be? For you to be with me. You told her all this in class? Yeah. Well, I texted her. I was like, what the heck I gotta do to be with you? L O L O L O L. What the heck I gotta do to be with you? R O L L O L. Who do I have to be for you to be with me? Smiley face. Yes. Next thing you know, we're texting day and night. I trust her right away. Like, whoa. Hey, yo, I never met anyone like her, bro. Yo, she listens to all my problems. I let her copy all my homework. And then I laid it all on the line, and she was like, No, no, no. She didn't say no. Exactly, I don't know, no, no, no. Yeah, what's surprise? I'm a pretty great guy. So, so, so I decided I needed to step my game up. Oh, 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 oh. It's too late to be shy. And so I got in front of the whole class one day and serenaded her. I was like, What the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? What the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? Took to the prom. Yeah, I danced and everything. Naomi, you know there's a reason you were transferred here to me. Naomi, you know there's a reason this is a lucky kid's destiny. Naomi, you know me. Will you go to prom with me? I'll think about it. She'll think about it. She'll think about it. She'll think about it. She'll think about it. She said she'll think about it. 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 Yes. I didn't say yes. I didn't say I'll think about it. I can't tell you my real name. But yes, I can confirm that I did get asked to the prom. The undercover officer who played Naomi is 25 years old, a new recruit with the Palm Beach Police Force. My assignment, to pose as a senior and find out who's buying, who's selling. Mostly pills and weed, you would not believe how easy it is to get pills and weed. What's the hardest part? The cafeteria. Imagine hundreds of teenagers yelling and running full speed and the lack of deodorant. Let's just say, I would drink at the end of the day Seriously, these kids need to learn there are consequences in life If I'm doing my job, and I'm doing it right I am making life safer one school at a time So he asked you to the prom Right I gave every excuse, I said it's too expensive Which is totally true, by the way I told him, look, I'm just a transfer I wouldn't feel comfortable with all your friends And it's true, you make friends on the job you meet kids who are sensitive, smart and defenseless Those are the ones you remember The ones that you think about after you're gone Seriously, these kids need to learn There are consequences in life If I'm doing my job and I'm doing it right I am making life safer one school at a time Meanwhile What the heck I gotta do to be with you? What the heck I gotta do? Tell me who I gotta be for you to be with me Do you smoke? What? You smoke weed? No, I don't, but if that's what you need I can find some for you I can be your supply You would do that for me I can be your guy oh. Seriously, these kids yes. need to learn There are oh. consequences in life If I'm doing my job And I'm doing it right I am making life safer One school at a time What are you thinking As you're trying to get this pot to sell to her? I'm thinking, what the heck am I doing? Because I don't hang out with guys like that So what did you do? I called the cousin who called the cousin who called a friend Who called a couple dozen cousins cause it doesn't end My cousin Justin's looking for a little something something For a certain someone, some girl he wants to be touching Everybody got a cousin who can hook him up with something Everybody got a cousin who can hook him up with something We were just discussing our cousin Justin Wasn't Justin the cousin who just made the honor roll Got the colleges buzzing Are we jokes to our cousin Justin? Are we supposed to trust him? Are we thugs to our cousin Justin? We don't sell drugs Everybody got a cousin who can hook him up with something Everybody got a cousin who can hook him up with something Did you get it yet? No, 
I'm about to get it. Is your dealer a student? I got you, girl. Don't sweat it. Let me know when you got it. As soon as I can. I'll find a way to repay you, Justin. Oh, man. Oh, what is up with this fussing? This isn't up for discussion. This is our cousin coming to us. He's our blood and we love him. I look at Justin. He blushes. Our little Justin is crushing. Sorry for rushing the judgment. Why should we get you these drugs? Some little green nuggets. I got it for you. XL, cool. You want it now? See you at school. Everybody got a cousin who can hook them up with something. Everybody got a cousin who can hook them up with something. Everybody got a cousin who can hook them up with something. Everybody got a cousin who can hook them up with something. Everybody got a cousin who can hook them up with something. Everybody got a cousin who can hook them up with something. The next day, Justin brought a rolled up bag of marijuana to school for Naomi. And I was like, oh my god, I'm actually gonna do this. So we was in class, and I sat down right next to her, and she was like, Justin, do you have it? Yeah, I do. And I was like, yeah, you know what, we're gonna wait for a few, because I didn't want to be like, oh, hey, and just slide it in her hand or whatever. So we waited. And she was like, okay, put it in my purse. So I slid it right in there. And then she was like, okay, here, take the money. your money I got this just for you keep your money there's nothing I won't do for you I'll come through for you every time just in time Justin listen please just take the money I only know there's a reason you You're were just right here to me take the money I only know there's a reason this is you really it's this time Justin would later find out it's a felony in Florida to sell marijuana. And the penalty is even harsher for selling it on school property. In other words, Justin had made an irreversibly bad decision. And since he was over 18, he was legally an adult when he made it. Seriously, these kids need to learn there are consequences in life. I am doing my job. I am doing it right. I am making life safer one school at a time. In May, the police arrested 31 students at several schools. Justin was one of them. <laughs> He spent a week in jail wondering what would happen next. It's your word against hers, the cops of every text. The cops of every text, the cops of every text. Don't worry, girl, I got the stuff I got you. He knew he'd lose in court. He had to take a plea. Three years probation, I pled guilty to the felony. What? A felony? A nickel bag's a felony? What? Just to say goodbye to colleagues, they got you. These kids need to wake up. I don't want to go too much into it, but drugs hit really close to home for me. I saw the effects growing up of cocaine and marijuana and ecstasy. With family members? Yes. I've seen what it can do to a family. That's all I want to say about it. Do you wish someone like you had done this type of work? Yes. And I hope someone like me keeps doing it. Still. There are kids you remember. The ones that you think about after you're gone. During the week he spent in jail, Justin couldn't help but think about Naomi. She was a light-skinned, Puerto Rican, Dominican, long hair, mature in the body like, whoa. That's not the only reason I like her, though. Yo, if it had been a guy that came up to me asking me for drugs, I would have been like, no, get out of my face. I don't hang out with people like that. It's because it was her. Have you talked to her since all of this happened? No, I would love to. I would love to have that conversation. What do you think you would say? I would say, what the heck did you do? What the heck did you do? Now you're...